Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today, I'm trying CPAC's new Budweiser Beer Batter Crab Poppers and Beer Batter Cod. Some people call Budweiser the king of beers, and other people call it Butt Wiper because it creates havoc during their morning constitution the day after drinking Budweiser. So let's see if Budweiser is the king of seafood, and hopefully it doesn't create havoc on tomorrow morning's constitution. We tried the Budweiser Beer Batter Crab Poppers first, which are made with wild-caught blue crab, cheese, and jalapeno peppers, and a crispy beer batter. These come with three ounces of citrus tartar sauce. Now I love tartar sauce, but I've never had a citrus tartar sauce. Citrus always goes good with seafood, so the combination of citrus and tartar sauce sounds pretty good. Like the famous Budweiser Lager Beer, our Budweiser Beer Batter Crab Poppers contain only the finest ingredients for a delicious taste experience. CPAC executive chefs, in conjunction with Budweiser Brewmasters, have perfected this crab popper recipe, assuring you that your dinner experience is the best it can be. With wild-caught blue crab, cheese, and jalapeno peppers, and a crispy Budweiser beer batter, you will taste the difference. Now just a second ago, I read the poppers only contain the finest ingredients. But wow, that's a lot of fine ingredients. But one thing I'm really happy about is they have a disclaimer stating the crab poppers contain crab. Who to thunk it? There's three five-piece servings per box. Each serving has 260 calories, 17 grams of total fat, 5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 35 milligrams of cholesterol, 610 milligrams of sodium, 21 grams of carbohydrates, 1 gram of fiber, 3 grams of sugars, and 7 grams of protein. There's three two tablespoon servings of citrus tartar sauce, which per serving contains 70 calories, six grams of total fat, one gram of saturated fat, no trans fat, 15 milligrams of cholesterol, 230 milligrams of sodium, four grams of carbohydrates, no fiber, two grams of sugars, and one gram of protein. You can cook these in an oven or toaster oven, but I'm doing neither. I'm gonna boil these. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna cook these in my air fryer. So let's get the crab poppers out of the box and see what they look like and then get them heated up. They kind of look a little bit like hush puppies, but they really have a really strong beer aroma. Uh oh, there's only 12 poppers. That's three short of the three five piece servings listed. Don't be skipping on my crab poppers if they're any good. Because crab, specifically blue crab, is my favorite seafood. But I love all kinds of seafood. If you're a seafood lover like me, smash that like button and let me know in the comments what your favorite seafood is. So into the air fryer they went at 400 degrees for 8 minutes or so. While the crab poppers are cooking, let's go over the beer battered cod, which are wild caught Pacific cod fillets in a crispy beer batter. Like the famous Budweiser lager beer, our Budweiser beer battered cod contain only the finest ingredients for a truly exceptional taste experience. CPAC executive chefs, in conjunction with Budweiser Brewmasters, have perfected this delicious beer battered cod recipe, assuring that your dinner experience is the best it can be. Taste the difference. You'd think that they could come up with something a little bit different from the crab poppers and the cod, but it's all basically the same words. There's a lot fewer ingredients in the cod than there is in the crab poppers. Again, lucky for you, the people, they let you know the beer battered cod fillets contain cod. Now I'm really surprised the fish doesn't come with tartar sauce. There's two and a half two-piece servings per box. Per serving, there's 320 calories, 15 grams of total fat, two and a half grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 30 milligrams of cholesterol, 710 milligrams of sodium, 32 grams of carbohydrates, one gram of fiber, two grams of sugars, and 15 grams of protein. The only way they recommend to heat the beer battered cod fillets is in the oven. No toaster oven on these. But again, I'm going to cook these in my Miracle Maker air fryer. Now let's get these out of the box and heat it up. Now the poppers, they had fewer poppers than what was listed on the box. But now the beer battered cod fillets have more. These beer battered cod fillets look just like normal frozen beer battered fillets. But just like with the crab poppers, they have a really strong beer aroma. 
So into the fryer they went for 15 minutes or so at 400 degrees. If you want to keep in touch with me and see foods that I cook and eat on a daily basis but I don't video, along with other random things, follow me on Instagram. After cooking for 10 minutes at 400 degrees, our CPAC Budweiser Beer Batter Crab Poppers are ready. And as they cooked, the smell of beer got stronger and stronger. And I love beer, but somebody that's not too fond of beer, this might be overpowering. But we won't really know until we taste them. So here they are all plated up with a citrus tartar sauce. And it's actually not a bad looking plate of food to be honest. I was hoping they tasted as good as they looked. Now a lot of you have been asking, where's the Plaza Sioux? Well let me introduce the new and improved state of the art see-through fork a sioux Or should I call it a see-through a sioux the new see-through Plastisu and Spoonisu will be out soon. Just look at how easily the newly designed see-through Forkisu penetrates the beer batter crab poppers. Amazing! The batter actually looks really good on these, but again, the beer aroma is really strong. So into my face hole it went. The taste and texture were immediately familiar and I instantly knew what it tasted like. They tasted exactly like the cheap, overly bread filled calabash style deviled crabs. Do you know what I mean? The kind you get at a seafood buffet down in Myrtle Beach? Very very bready with very little crab flavor but surprisingly enough they had little to no beer flavor. From the aroma these put off I was really expecting an overpowering beer flavor but like I said there was little to no beer flavor at all. But they did have a nice spice to them from the jalapeno pepper. We stabbed another one and again it looks very good on the outside and they definitely looked better than they tasted. We gave it a dip in the citrus tartar sauce to see if it helped them out some. I was absolutely not a fan of the citrus tartar sauce. I would definitely rename these Budweiser beer batter crab poppers to beer batter devil crab poppers. But Megan tried them and she liked them. But me, when I order or buy something that says crab anything, I want crab and the flavor of crab. Not a ton of breading and overpowering flavors to cover up the crab. So with that said, these get a score of 4 out of 10. After 15 minutes at 400 degrees, the CPEC Budweiser Beer Batter Cod Filets are ready and again, the beer aroma is almost overpowering and I love beer. So to someone who doesn't love beer, this could be overwhelming. Like I said before, I was surprised the fish didn't come with tartar sauce. So even though I didn't care for the citrus tartar sauce, I put it on the plate with the fish. Who knows, maybe it'll taste better with the fish. And just like with the crab poppers, the beer batter looked pretty good. When I took my first bite, they were definitely crunchy. A little too crunchy with a really thick breading. It wasn't that nice light airy batter you normally get with beer battered fish. You can see here how thick the breading was. But surprisingly again, there was really no beer flavor. The fish was very firm, somewhat dry and gritty. I figured it couldn't hurt so I tried the cod with the citrus tartar sauce. But unfortunately it didn't help at all and I realized the citrus tartar sauce is more like just a citrus mayonnaise. So I wanted to try the fish by itself, so we peeled off as much batter as we could, but we couldn't get all the batter off without tearing the fish apart. But now you can easily see how dry the fish was. These were very bland, the fish was dry and gritty, I think it had too much breading, and just overall it wasn't good. Honestly, I think Gordon's beer batter fish is so much better. So with that said, I'm giving CPAC's Budweiser Beer Batter Cod a 3 out of 10. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12 for the whole year. Or you can pledge more, that's up to you. Either way, 
every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you soon.